10 ongoing projects in Ghana, which are just unrealistic. Ghana, officially the Republic of Ghana, is a West African country. It shares borders with Ivory Coast in the west, Burkina Faso in the north, and Togo in the east, as well as the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean to the south. During the 2000s, infrastructure contributed slightly more than one percentage point to Ghana's annual per capita GDP growth, raising the country's infrastructure endowment to that of the region's middle-income countries has the potential to boost annual growth by more than 2.7 percentage points. When compared to other African low-income countries, Ghana has a more advanced infrastructure platform. The country's rural water, electricity, and GSM signal coverage levels are impressive. The majority of the road network is in good or fair condition. Institutional reforms have been implemented in the sectors of ICT, ports, roads, and water supply. Ghana's most pressing challenges are in the power sector, where outdated transmission and distribution assets, rapid demand growth, and periodic hydrological shocks have forced the country to rely on high-cost oil-based generation. Here are some of the 10 projects that are being carried out in Ghana that seems to be so unrealistic but rally do exist. What are your thoughts about these projects? Let us know in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to Africa Reloaded. 10. Tete Kwashi Koko Museum Ghana A cutting-edge cocoa museum built in Mampong, Ghana's eastern region, to honor the father of the cocoa industry. The $3 million Tete Kwashi Koko Museum, a one-stop microcosm of the industry showcasing upstream and downstream operations under one roof, is part of the government's policy to promote local consumption of cocoa and increase the Golden Tree's contribution to the country's gross domestic product, GDP. The museum will include Tete Kwashi Koko Farm, where visitors will see a live demonstration of seed planting, agronomical practices of the farmer, harvesting, and drying of the seeds. There will be an exhibition center with text, live narration, and other formats displaying the history, tools, and background of cocoa farming in Ghana, as well as its socio-economic impact on the society. 9. The Marine Drive Project Ghana the Marine Drive Tourism Investment Project is a government initiative aimed at transforming sections of Ghana's capital city's coastline into a cutting-edge tourism and hospitality enclave. The resorts will include hotels, shopping malls, casinos, water theme parks, a 15-story office complex, conference and exhibition centers, a playground, and a beach soccer pitch, among other amenities. It will span over 240 acres of land, stretching from the Christian Borg Castle in Osu to Baden-Powell near the Arts Centre in downtown Accra. When completed, Marine Drive Ghana is expected to attract more trade investment, improve tourism, generate revenue and employment, and increase foreign exchange earnings. 8. Pakwesi Inter-Exchange Project the project, which is the first of its kind in West Africa and the second largest in Africa after the MIT Edgecom interchange in South Africa, went into operation on July 3, 2018, following a grand ceremony presided over by Ghana's senior minister, Asafo Mafa. The four-tier Pokues interchange project in Ga North Municipal District, one of the 29 districts in Ghana's Greater Accra region, is set to be completed in June of this year and handed over to the government. The Awashi Pokues Interchange Project, carried out under the Accra Urban Transport Project and supervised by the DUR under the Ministry of Roads and Highways, aims to alleviate traffic congestion at the Pokues ACP junction by preventing streams of traffic from the Awashi Pokues and Accra Kumasi roads from colliding. 7. Ghana National Cathedral The National Cathedral is a historic project that serves as a sacred space and infrastructure for the nation's formal religious activities, such as state funerals and presidential inaugurations. This national character sets it apart from the other cathedrals in the country. 
the stool, the nation's seat of power, as well as the shade of celestial authority, the Bowman's ceremonial canopies, and the tabernacle, are all references to both Christian symbolism and traditional Ghanaian heritage. The cathedral will be built on 14 acres of newly landscaped gardens next to Osu Cemetery. It will include a baptistry, a 5,000-seat two-level auditorium, a grand central hall, a music school, choir rehearsal, an art gallery, a shop, and multi-use spaces. It will also house Africa's first Bible museum and documentation center, which will be dedicated to Christianity and nation-building in Ghana. To create the cathedral's religious adornment and furnishings, Ajay Associates will collaborate with some of the most celebrated and progressive Ghanaian and African artists. 6. Accra Skytrain Ghana Accra Skytrain is a fully automated, elevated light rail metro network planned for Accra, Greater Accra, Ghana. The proposed network will include five routes, four of which will be radial routes beginning at a new terminal at the Kwame Nkrumah interchange and one that will loop around the city. The total track length of all routes combined is 194 kilometers. The announced system will employ Aeromovil technology and will be capable of transporting 10,000 passengers per hour in each direction on each route. In February 2021, the government stated that it intended to proceed but was awaiting Attorney General reports before submitting legislation to Parliament. 5. Petronia City Project Ghana Petronia City, located approximately 8 kilometers from Takaradi, Ghana's western region capital, is a proposed 2,000-acre city development project that aims to provide the region's first fully integrated business center for the oil, gas, and mining industries. Wonder World Estates and its affiliate, Petronia City Development, are working on the proposed development. The project's goal is to create West Africa's first fully integrated business hub for the oil, gas, and mining industries. The project is hosted by the Bihan and Yaibu communities in the Ahanta West District of Ghana's western region, about 8 kilometers from Takaradi. The Signature Ghana The Signature is a luxury apartment development in East Legan's newly constructed neighborhood of Shiashi, close to the Tati Kwashi Interchange and opposite the Accra Mall. The project entails the construction of studios on two and three bedroom apartments, as well as a four bedroom penthouse with a private pool. There are seven different types and sizes of studio apartments, 15 different types and sizes of one bedroom apartments, 17 different types and sizes of two bedroom apartments, and two different types and sizes of three bedroom apartments. To name a few amenities, the project includes a fitness center and steam room, a rooftop pool and bar, a ballet and yoga studio, a bowling alley and a basketball court, a pharmacy, a cafe and restaurant, a karaoke studio and a movie theater, a spa, a children's playground, grocery stores, concierge service, and 24-hour security and CCTV. 3. Ghana's Solar-Powered Airport Ghana's government has announced plans to implement a solar energy project to power the country's airports. The report was revealed by Ghana's Minister of Aviation, Joseph Kofi Adda who also stated that the government has sought Indian expertise for the solarization project. A team from Cochin International Airport came to Ghana and assessed the country's airports to determine the cost of the project and the amount of an Exim Bank of India financing facility of approximately $10 million that would be used to convert all of the country's airports to solar power, Joseph Kofi Adda said. Ghana's Kotoka International Airport is likely to be the first to benefit from the country's airport solarization project. The authorities intend to construct a 6-megawatt peak solar power plant. 2. Kumasi International Airport Expansion Ghana The government of Ghana operates Kumasi International Airport, IOTA, KMS, 
which is located in Kumasi, the capital city of Ashanti, Ghana. It is regarded as one of the country's busiest international airports. The airport, which was previously known for its regional airline operations, needed to be expanded in order to become a full-fledged international airport. The expansion project was part of the government's multimodal transportation system to boost tourism in the Ashanti region. Passenger traffic at the airport has steadily increased in recent years. The expansion aims to meet rising demand by increasing capacity for international passengers. The Ghana Civil Aviation Authority has decided to upgrade the existing runway, AGL system, and bulk service infrastructure to accommodate the Boeing 700 and 37 to 800 design aircraft. As part of phase two and three of this project, the airport will construct a new terminal building, link taxiway, apron, service roads, new parking facilities, and access roads. One, Assembly Plant Ghana. The event was held at Toyota Social Manufacturing Company Limited in Tamer's Free Zones Enclave. Toyota Susho Corporation's president and CEO, Ichiro Kashitani, announced in 2019 that the company will begin assembling vehicles in Ghana in August 2020. The decision to establish the assembling plant in Ghana was announced at the 7th Tokyo International Conference on African Development. Tai C87 in Japan, where President Muhammadu Buhari had asked Toyota to establish a plant in Nigeria during a meeting with Kshitani. Nissan will open an assembly plant in Tema, Greater Accra region, in April 2022. It is currently Ghana's largest automotive assembly plant, with a capacity of over 31,000 vehicles per year. These are some of the incredible projects in Ghana that appear unrealistic but exist. What are your thoughts on these projects? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded if you want to see more great and interesting videos.